Alrighty there, what's up ladies and gentlemen, keeps my name is Sister Cam, boom, this is Seb Cam, look, we're back in the van, back in the van, back in my bed, Ugh. it's actually kind of nice in a familiar sort of way, it's summertime, the weather's good, Let's go to the orange corner and have an orange corner chat. So, I'm back in here. Uh, how's that for an angle? <laughs> there is a situation with the house where there's not really space anymore. There's uh, family, uncles, aunties, whatever, people visiting, people staying. And it could be relatively permanent. And I'm not really able to stay in that room. So I've moved back out here. But I'm having to pay extra rent right now on this. For the land and for the electric, it's kind of a bit more expensive. Which is a tough time for it to be expensive when I'm... To be asked for extra money for the orange corner when I'm barely making the money washing cars. So it's it's kind of a tough situation. I kind of I appreciate being here, but I'm like, uh, the extra cost. I don't know if I'm going to keep it up. I don't really have a lot of choice at the moment. But I'm looking to get out. I've even got Fiji on the wall. Look, Fiji, we're going to Fiji. I found this at the library. I actually have been going to the library. There's nothing else on there. I used to have tons of like post-it notes and all the vision board was up here. Now the vision board is completely blank, except for Fiji near Florida. So I kind of like that in a way. That, oh, the postcard. Yeah, so I found that at the library. Oh, it's raining right now. It's been raining all day. I'm much more aware of the rain when I'm <laughs> when I'm out here. So the Fiji postcard, I think, was a was a miraculous synchronistic find. I didn't think to film it. I haven't got any footage of me kind of going, look, Fiji. I just saw it. I picked it up, I looked, it's blank on the back, it's an actual postcard. Look, I've put some blue tack on it, but it's like... Fiji Travels. Stamp me. So... That's what I'm clinging on to, is that I won't be in here for long. I am departing soon. I'm going to sell everything. I've got Starbucks mugs I'm eBaying. I've got old like things that I can just put on eBay, like things that I don't need, things that I don't want, junk that I can monetize. I've got a car. There's a Nissan Micra, which I've paid for. Uh, I think I should be able to sell that. Essentially, I want to sell all the, the things that are holding me here so that I can just set off free, like a new start, a new slate, a new beginning. I just can't stand the idea of continuing to run the hamster wheel just to stay afloat. Like, why am I doing all this? It was better when I, when I didn't work. <laughs> I might have been even more broke, but at least I had my time. Like, now I don't have any time. Uh, my time is all gone to uh, to making money. There was some good quote that I heard the other day. <sighs> Hopefully, I can get it right. I'm tired too because you know, not much time for rest these days. Poor people. 
spend money. No. Poor people spend time to make money. That's what I'm doing. I'm a poor person spending my time to hopefully get a little bit of money. However, rich people spend their money to get time. So, for example, a rich person would take a taxi to the airport. The poor person would, instead of spending that money to get their time back, they would walk or run or <laughs> ride the bus. Uh, that's me. I'm not much of a taxi taker. Just an example. But there are times where money can really save a lot of time. And rich people, wealthy people, people who are abundant, people who have a abundant mindset and are not stuck in poverty consciousness will be not only willing but happy and joyful to spend money to get back some time to get the super express fast track service to get the immediate gratification the go out to the restaurant and have the food served up in a buffet instead of cooking it yourself at home, going out shopping for the ingredients. Time, money, money, time. I hope that makes sense. Uh, it was a good epiphany for me. I was like, wow, I'm spending my time to get money. And I should be spending my money to get time. I think that's all I really have to say for now. I'm going to eat some pineapples and bananas. I'm just adjusting to the new environment. It's familiar. It's, uh, yeah, it's nothing unusual. <laughs> It's kind of cool to be back, like I said, but it's just a bit more expense. It's more expensive. So we're going to go to Fiji. We're getting out of here. My name's Seb. This is the cam. Boom. This is Seb Cam. Go in Fiji. Go in Fiji. Go in Fiji. Go.